We begin hour number two with a man who I, I can't. I mean, uh, in terms of people on the planet who have provided me with so much joy, uh, this man's top five. And it's not just because in my in my in my notebook that I have right here on my desk, it is autographed by him and his dad, Jack. Okay, <laughs> okay right here. It's on my desk every single day. Uh, but he's kind enough to join us now after his team goes to seven and three. I guess if I'm excited, Coach, uh, do I go like this? Do I just go up here and I pull down? What do I do, Jim Harbaugh, like this? Is that what I do? Grab it, pull it down. Yeah. Okay. Good. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm grabbing I'm pulling it down. So I'm seeing you on my screen. How you doing, Coach? Good to see you, Jim. How are you? Hey, doing good. Thank you. Uh, right back at you. You provide the... Uh... I mean, so much good, so much good, and uh, to so many people, um, nothing but respect, Rich. Yeah, right back at you, man. Last time I saw you, your lovely wife, your family out there at the Rose Bowl helping me raise money for, for St. Jude, you know? I saw what you were doing to Justin Herbert, like pounding on his on his uh, shoulder pads and everything like that. I'm like, you know, I've, I've, I've been there. <laughs> oh, that was such a great day at the Rose Bowl. It was Ron, great. Ron, you are uh, – you are the, I mean, it's, uh, it's legendary what you, what you've done. And, uh, thanks for including us. Oh, come on, man. Your lovely family. That was, uh, that was a signature day. That was, that was so much fun. It had my niece was there and my brother-in-law, uh, Everyone. Sarah and the kids had a ball. And it was the first time you'd been back at the Rose Bowl since you quarterback there. Right, Jim? Is that right? Uh, well, no. since uh, since coaching so, well, in the Rose since Bowl. Since coaching the Rose Bowl, right, obviously. Yes. But, at, but that would, that day was the first time you were there since you, played in the Rose Bowl, right? When you coached in the Rose Bowl? Yeah, uh, coaching at the Rose Bowl was, was the first time I was back there. No, no, I, I, I oh, no. As a matter of fact, I went to a couple of games. I went to a Michigan, um, went to a Michigan USC Rose Bowl, and I went to the uh, Texas okay. oh, the Mich and uh, USC Rose Bowl. Okay, well, that was, oh, wow. uh, that, that's as classic as it and gets. And the Super Bowl. Went to the Super Bowl, uh, Dallas and the Bills Super Bowl. Damn. That's an, it's an iconic place. <laughs> Isn't it? it Who's there's, got there's few better atmospheres than the than the Rose Bowl. So it looks like you're just having a blast, Jim. It really is look like you're having a blast through the first ten games and the first, you know, ten months pretty much of your tenure here in LA. Um yeah, I mean uh just just uh just was so lucky came into a uh to an established culture here, just a mindset of winning and um the the players, everybody in the organization just uh attacking doing every anything and everything in their power to to help us be successful um just guys that uh guys i mean we got a, we got a number of guys that are uh that that do their job and and do it really well and consistently we got a number of guys that uh uh i mean they're so good that they can they can make up for coaching mistakes they can make up for uh others mistakes there's uh Guys that love football, uh, guys that must win, guys that hate to lose, uh, guys that uh, they, they just they uh, they're not afraid to work. Uh, I could I could go on and on. I mean, there's just so many virtues. Uh, guys that I mean, I've never been around that love football as much as as Derwin James, or James, uh, perfectionist uh, and, and talent like Justin Herbert. Um, it's it's been uh, it's been really incredible and. And nobody that's uh, given any grief or caused any distraction. We're just, uh, you know, let's get that working, coach. That's the first conversation I had with with Derwin James when I took the jobs. He goes, "You ready to get that working, coach?" I go, "Yeah, I'm ready. Let's <laughs> let's go. Let's have at it." And it's it's been that way weekly, you know, daily, weekly, monthly since taking the job. You know, and I know you don't like talking about yourself. I've been around you a long time. You don't like doing that. I you know, I remember again all those uh, post game press conference or post game moments on the field. When, um, you know, after Michigan wins, you'd always bring players over and you're like, talk to them and you'd, and you'd leave. So I understand that. But everybody's just been talking about your coaching, you know, uh, again, in a new spot and flipping things around from a record one year to another one from losing to winning. And so what what is your formula or your secret sauce, Jim, where where so many people are watching you do it again in uh -huh. Los Angeles? So what 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 is that when you join a new spot that you can? Well, first share? of all, I don't I don't I don't throw around uh, you know things loosely. When I say I love these guys, I mean my two great loves are my family at home and my family here at work. Um, and 
um, you know, I guess I guess where you, where you, when you when you hit me with something like that, and um, I go back to my uh, college days of, of playing for Bo Schembechler and Gary, Gary Moeller, to uh, who was the defensive coordinator. He had this he had this uh, he had this thing. So like when people are telling you nice things, Rich, and uh, you know they're they're sometimes it even comes from from um, you know friends or family or, or uh, uh, could be you know media, media people, uh, just anybody, you know, like he said, he would, Bo would say, and uh, Gary would say, kick him in the shin, <laughs> kick him in the shins. And I know, you know, Gary Moeller and, and Bo Schembechler, yeah. but, uh, yeah, it's, that's, that's always resonated. You know, we, uh, we got a, we got a, we got a long road to hoe, um, you know, rich in a, in a big game this week. And, you know, all we can do is, uh, you know, do our best, try to get better. And, uh, you know, treat each other as we would want to be treated and, and never give up. And uh, that says it really, um, and that doesn't come from me. That's, I try to, I try to do that. That's why I try to, uh, you know, uh, conduct, you know, myself as a, as when I was a player and a coach, but uh, that comes from Mark Herbert, father of Justin Herbert. Justin shared that with the team uh, this past week. That was the advice that, uh, his dad gave to the Pee Wee football team that he was coaching that Justin was on. I just, you know, it just so sync. It's, it's so tight. It said so well that, uh, you know, just, I couldn't wait to go, you know, call my kids and, and, and give them that message and, you know, in the hopes that they turn out, uh, you know, as good as Justin. Well, has. I mean, you but, know, uh, I spoke to Scott Matlock here. Do your best. No, no. Do I, your best. Right. So that, but get it, better. Yes. Treat others as you would want to be treated. Sure. And never give up. And that's and that's been your philosophy, you know, walking in there. And I guess again, you're you're just being yourself, and the guys really respond to it. I mean, we had Scott Matlock here in studio, and he's talking about how he would run through a brick wall for you. And uh, you know, I noticed again when you were giving that speech coming off of a signature win, as you called the one against the the Bengals, Jim. You know, the first person you did hug it out with was Derwin James, standing right there. You know, and Justin Herbert. It, it you know. Clearly, they're they're buying everything that 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 you're selling, and it's just the opposite though. It's it's completely the reverse of what you're saying. Uh, I'm buying what what they're doing, what you know, um, you know what they're what they're doing because it's more what they're doing than what they're saying. You know, it's uh, it's uh, you know, like any of us, it's what we do speaks so loudly. It doesn't matter, you know, what we say. I can't even hear what you're saying. So from day one. This coach has taken on the personality of uh, this organization and these players. And, uh, you know, I'm just hit with their virtue with numbing repetition every day. I have been the one that uh, has drawn the long straw here and uh, is drinking the Kool-Aid that, uh, <laughs> you know, that those guys that you've mentioned and, and, and 53 others uh you know, put on display every day. And obviously this week is, is in our world, the media world focused on you and your brother. And again, you know, you don't like talking about yourself and your family is going to be right out there. What, what, what is it like to coach in a game and look across the way and see, and see John, Jim? Uh, I mean, it's, it's um, respect. Uh, it's love. I mean, nobody could have a better brother than, uh, than I do. I mean, nobody, <laughs> has it has it better than have a brother like uh, John Harbaugh? He is um, he's the toughest competitor I know, uh, and he just really pulls it out of you. Um, watching the tape of, of the Ravens team, you know I've followed closely for years, uh, you know, but really really diving into it, you know, down after down, play after play. I mean the toughness, the physicality, uh, you know, the execution. It's just so tight. Everything is just uh, you know so tight with this football team and, and you see them, you know, um, the make the, the improvements that they make, uh, you know, the secondary, the, the, uh, the pass rush, the way they split the double team, uh, you know, it's just, it's just one, one technique after another. And you just, you see how well coached they are. I mean, it's, it's, it's off the charts and, uh, the talent that they have, um, uh, you know, gosh, Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, those two are like the, you know, nobody more competitive or uh, or more talented than those two uh, two players. And then you know, down throughout the roster, it's uh, you know, it's uh, 
kind of what we're driving for, you know, uh, want to be, want to watch the Ravens or watch the, watch our team. We, you know, we, we, we hope to be looking in the mirror. That's, that's how much respect we have for, uh, uh, the Baltimore Ravens. In the couple minutes I have left with you, Jim Harbaugh, um, Scott Matlock came in here and told me a couple things I want to confirm with you. He said that you get in the, uh, the cold tub with your, you're fully clothed <laughs> with some of the players. <laughs> Is that true? Have you done that, Jim? Well, I, t- I take off my shoes okay, uh, and my socks, okay. and I also take my belt out off, and I, I okay. take out whatever's in my pockets. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, the no sense getting the, uh, an, I mean, the, another pair of khakis. Uh, they got to get washed anyway, so. <laughs> he also said um, that you will not let anybody on the team high-five Justin Herbert with, with their right <laughs> hand. Is that true, Jim? Oh, that's that's uh, that's factual. That's factual. Okay. I mean, I've, I've, yes, I you know I I I go to high five him sometimes too, and he just you know I just want to pull it back. Uh, you know that's a those fingers, that hand, that's uh, yeah. I just I just yeah, don't want to. Yeah, that's I don't know. Is that dumb? Is that is that no, dumb? No, no. You, you you it's called covering all your bases, Jim. <laughs> That's what it's called. You're, yeah, left left hand high fives are fine. Just don't mess with. There's that. nobody that enjoys the high five or respects the high five or gets a gets more enjoyment out of giving or getting a high five than I think I do. But uh, yeah, just when it's just that I, I feel like can we do it to the left hand? Let's go with the left. And is it true you say you he's the last quarterback you want to coach in your career? God sure. willing, and the creek don't rise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's great to see you, Jim. I know, uh, I know, uh, you're you're running to the next thing as always. Um, send my best to oh, always a pleasure, Rich. Sarah. Go blue, go blue. Do, do you do you talk to both Sharon? shades? Both shades, Rich. What is what is <laughs> oh, okay. both shades of blue? Both shades. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> both. Sh- have you talked to Sharon lately, Jim? Do you talk to him? Oh yeah, Coach. Uh, love Coach Moore, uh, and uh, you know he's 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 doing uh, exactly what he should be doing. You know, just. All you can do is do the best that you can, get better, treat others as you would want to be treated, and never give up. And he's he's attacking it with the enthusiasm unknown to mankind. Uh, we all know. Okay, so powder blue and go blue, all the blue, um, and enjoy the uh, the week and seeing your whole family, I imagine, on Monday. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Reggie. Yeah, best your Appreciate folks it. and Sarah. Susie says sends her best to you, too. Jim. Tell Susie, uh, me and Sarah, say hello. You got it. That's Jim Harbaugh, everybody, getting set for the Harbaugh, as it's being called on Monday Night Football. Just uh, across the street, our neighbor, Jim Harbaugh, right here on yeah. the Rich Eisen Show. Awesome. Yeah, we're just, uh, we're just down the road. That was I, we got to go over there. We also saw Jim at the Tom Brady roast, Rich. Oh, that's right. That's right. We did. Yeah. The Tom Brady roast. That was a blast. For sure. Oh my gosh! Also, Jim was so nice to Cage at the at the Run Rich Run. Uh, oh, that was great, for... yeah, because your son kept running again, and he uh, was yeah. standing there. He's like, "Look who's back!" <laughs> Cage, I think, ran it like five or six times. <laughs> is he still? Jim is he very, still on? Jim was very Jim, nice. You, are you still there, Jim? <laughs> Just pop him back on real quick, Jim. You you still oh, there? Yeah. Cage, you... Cage is my guy. <laughs> The endurance that he has. I mean, he must have. He must have run that race. He must have run that forty-yard dash. I mean, that 28, 30 times. <laughs> That's incredible. Right. You were and you were the best. You stayed there for every kid announcing yeah. them, and you're like, uh, he needs no introduction. It's Kate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a great day. Make Thanks it a great day, Rich. All right. There you go. That's Thanks, Jim Harbaugh. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Very, very, very funny. funny. Yeah. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.